What's up, guys? You're welcome to Emacom TV, where we publish news on politics and entertainment. All right, guys, an indigen of River State has come out and overwhelmingly proven with both historical fact, logical fact, that River State is an evil state. You know, this is going to shock you because, you know, some people have been denying in River State that they are not evils, but this are the fact that they are bearing evil names. So, but I want to listen to this man. The information this man is giving out will totally shock you. You remember, Wiki had said that he is not evil and all of that, but this man proved with doubt, with, with, without shadow of a doubt that Wiki is an evil man. I want to watch the video and then you drop your comment. Let me know what you think. Before the war, when you go to Port Harcourt, let me take Port Harcourt as an example. You have Umu Kuru, Umu Abasi, Umu, 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 Umu. But immediately after the war, they now change the name from Umu to Rumu because they, were, they, they had issues that they were unable to settle during the war with the, the, with the, the Igbos. They felt that they were cheated in the course of the war. They now decided to make little amendment. But from my own side, which is in Dorne, we remain Igbo and we answer, we bear the name. And when you come to our tradition, Ibianandone, Aina Piamau, Kande, Anambra, Imu. We have our masquerade. And in, in our culture, the masquerade depicts uh, our ancestral uh, uh, being. They use it to uh, make laws in those days. And these are, if you are not from Igbo land, how do you have that masquerade? Now, I, I have two names that are Igbo names. Ikechuku, Afamefuna. Now, if you have that name, that traditional name, and you stand to say you are not an Igbo man, it tells you you are not telling yourself the truth. Now, when you go to Ndone, Typical example, we have Peter Odili. He was the former governor of River State. Okay. We have Chief Victor Ifan Ichuku Enebeli, uh, Odili, sorry. He's, he, he is uh, the owner of a Brawa shipping line. So we, we, we identify ourselves as Igbos. I stand to say I am an Igbo man. I'm an Igbo. You know, to me, it's, a, it's the right time for we, be, for we to begin to tell ourselves the truth. You know, the most shameful thing on earth will be somebody trying to deny his ancestors because of whatever being the benefit anyone wants to have tomorrow. You know, I was not there during the war. Most of these places today that are, like if you go to Delta North today, Assemble from Asaba, Ibuzo, Obashuku, Oguluku, Iseluku. These are Igbo communities. You see, they are giving their children Ifunanya, Chibi, Kechu, yes. Chukwe Buka, you know, exactly the culture. They believe in it for Igbo market days. Okay. Of course, Uri, Afo, Nko. You know, when somebody believes in Igbo for market days, the same way the five states believe. The masquerade is the same way. Like in Data North, the, the name of their king is Obi. Mm. Obi of this. Obi is not Yoruba name. Mm. Obi is not Awasan name. No. Obi is not Bini name. It is not a, a, a Urubo name. It's not a Urubo name. Not a John name. It's not a John name. Not a Fik name. It's not a Fik name. Uh, yes. Obi is Igbo name. Mm. Like me now talking, my son name is Obi. <laughs> so, you know, some of them in Data North, some of them, few of them says, we come from Bini. If you come from Bini, why are you not answering Bini name? Why are you answering Igbo name? I would say I'm very proud of him because coming, being a river state man, 
mentioning his name, Igbo name, and he's also speaking Igbo. I'm hearing him, he's hearing me. <laughs> it's a shameful thing for someone to deny his ancestors just because of benefit. I heard that after the war, some people from that Rivera area, they tried to change the identity in order to be favored by the federal government. Mm. You know, after the war, there was this Igbo people are uh, somehow segregated. So for you to fit in the country that time, you have to deny whom you are. To be able to get a benefit. So to be able to get a benefit. And the, man, man, I can draw that benefit I need to make here now. Fang with the benefit. Where is it now? Come on, you divide and rule. Mm. Now, if you check, no person how well all year. How many of them were all you well? A drum na Okay. Okay, this is very very interesting. Are you still there? This is Seraphic Studio. More of this will be coming your way. All right. Um, does anyone still need the gods, or do you see need? Uh, a soothsayer to interpret what these guys are saying. You see, uh, this is what Nam Dikano has taken time to elaborate upon. He gave a lot of facts to prove that um, River State is an evil state. And there's no gain saying. You, you heard them say that after the war, after the war was when everything changed. You remember the Igbos were well were segregated. During after the war, nobody wanted to identify with them. So there was this politics, you know. They created a South South state to segregate. Initially, this region was the entire region was Eastern region. And it was uh, I am not an Igbo. Oh yes, I'm not an Igbo. But you see, the truth remains. For the fact that most of these regions, you heard where they say Delta North, you know, we have uh Bendel Igbo, we have uh, you know, so, so these people. The truth of the matter is that Igbo dominate the whole of this area. You see, they all bear the Igbo name. And I'm, I'm, I'm beginning to think that uh, I think the first settlers in the whole of this region may have been the Igbos. May have been the Igbos. Because even the Bini people, some of them bear Igbo name. Now, so, sometimes some people might say maybe it's due to interracial marriage. You know, even if it's interracial marriage, the people of that area will want to still, you know, preserve their own culture. Why is it that Igbo culture obtained that is being uh, done in the five states, five eastern, uh, southeastern state, is what is still observed in all this region? So, well, I, I think they've done justice to this. They've elaborated upon it. I think the truth is uh, finally out. So, what do you guys think about this? Please, I want to drop your own comment. Let me know what you think. This is Emma TV. God bless you.